back. We've just got a flight that's arrived from the national capital, Canberra. Uh, Boeing 717-200. And Qantaslink. What we might say, a modernised version of the Douglas DC-9. Originally the name for this aircraft was MD-95. Because the DC-9 went through uh, many changes and uh, length variations. Originally had the DC-9-15-32, uh, which ANSET and TAA used through their history from the 60s, 70s and uh, well into the 80s. And then you had the longer DC-9, the stretched uh, 50s, and then they brought in the MD-80s during the uh, early 1980s. They had the, 80, the MD-80, the MD-82, or sorry, the MD-81, 82, the MD-83, then the more popular MD-88, which Delta owned about 180 of them, and then uh, then they had a, a, a stretched again, the MD-90. Uh, by then that was the end of McDonnell Douglas, and they were just in the process of bringing out the MD-95, and then Boeing and McDonnell Douglas merged. Boeing took on the uh, MD-95 and renamed it the uh, Boeing 717-200. And various airlines like Hawaiian, Delta, Qantas Link, and a few other, a few other airlines took delivery of them, but then uh, Boeing were in a hurry to uh, complete the orders and uh, withdraw the uh, uh, manufacture of that aircraft. They wanted to concentrate on the 737 variants. That's a story of the 717. They're no longer produced. Uh, they went out of production a couple of decades ago. So you've, uh, the two major uh, manufacturers now is uh, Boeing and uh, Airbus. There we go.